We're after some pretty uh, unique and rare World War II items for our project Night Fright that we couldn't find anywhere else. We bought this aeroplane and we're here stripping the parts out, ready to send back to the UK. I've never experienced temperatures like this before, so we were minus 28 uh, on arrival, so it's probably the same now. After 15 minutes of holding a screwdriver, you can't feel your fingers and it takes you half an hour at least to get feeling back in your hands. Whew. I came over and volunteered my services. It's a wonderful thing they're doing trying to keep these old birds flying. and I think they need all the help they can get. So I'm going to come away now. This is the winter fuse fairing, quite an important piece. So what we can try and do is just uh, rob what we can and, and then repair up. So next time hopefully I'll be playing with this, it'll be in a nice warm workshop. I don't think I've got to take my gloves off again. There's one line of rivets that goes through the fuselage, through the outside skin. 250 per side. Captain 7. It's 70, 80 years old now. They don't make these things anymore. It's actually got an ink, original 1943-44 ink stamp where somebody's just gone for a bit of ink, 273 and a half. Obviously the parts what we've got a try and basically rob from this aircraft to service the next aircraft. We've got to be careful with because we, we want them in the best condition possible. So uh, it's quite stressful. Wish you luck, right? Yep. Yeah, I guess there's points, you know, throughout the project you're thinking, yeah, uh, have we bitten off more than we can chew here? But, um, you know, you've only got to think back to the reasons of why you're doing it and, you know, what you're giving back to history. And it's a fantastic project and, you know, we, we can't wait to see it finished. Really. Bingo! Oh. The C-47 to me, this is the, the pinnacle of how we can honour the men that flew this aircraft and the men that flew in the squadron and the, and the group. If we do it right, it'll be a living, breathing memorial really for them.